Today, I'm going to be using the random projectile mod to see if we can beat the elite Blunarius boss balloon in Balloons Tower Defense 6. So, let's see if we can win. Well, this is the normal boss balloon that we did in fact beat last time. However, this looks a whole lot more intimidating. In fact, the final boss phase of this on round 120 has 40 million health, I believe, which is just absolutely insane. So, we're going to have to find a tower that does so much damage. I don't know if it's going to be possible. I do feel like we're going to be lucky today. Also, let's just put down a druid. I I don't go for the druid very often and of course if you have not seen this series before yes every single projectile and when i change the upgrade as well it will also change the projectile so as you can see adora's projectile that's not bad at all for the druid actually that's pretty good damage and that will allow me to like look through some other towers and hopefully we can find something really good okay so let's actually go for another upgrade on this i just want to see if we can find anything good no, wait, wait. Is that the map projectile? If that is the map projectile, okay, that is absolutely huge because I was really worried about even this first boss phase because, of course, it's only in 36 rounds, but we have literally, I think that's like four or five Maz shooting out at once. It's going to be terrible against the balloons, but against the boss balloon, that is going to be insane. Of course, we do have to find a tower that makes me money and stuff like that as well, but I'm going to keep this in mind. So it's the 100 Druid that is going to do huge damage to the boss balloon. Okay, well, Let's go for some other upgrades on this because I do want to look at everything. And wait, this is this is good as well. That is okay. That's a song of projectile as well. And also, I, I believe I saw there's a boomerang there as well. If you look really carefully, we're gonna get another druid right here. We're gonna get the mad one. I feel like that is just gonna be absolutely amazing popping power for us. There we go. It's not so good against the balloons, but it's gonna be amazing against the boss balloon in 31 rounds. And we need to look through some other towers. So. Let's go for a ninja right here. Ninja is always good because, okay, there we go. Look at this. Look how many bananas this thing is making me already. That is absolutely insane because it could have just been like a regular banana making me like $30 per thing. But this is making me $300 per crate. So we're basically sorted for the money because this ninja monkey has already made me $12,300. That is absolutely insane. Okay, we are going to go for more upgrades on it, of course. Uh, I also want to check out the dartling gun. So I'm going to keep this making me a bit more money. In fact, I'm just going to put a banana farmer down by the ninja. I know how stupid that sounds, but this is going to collect all the money. You can see 18900 already. Let's go for the dartling gun because the dartling gun is always really good because I can aim it wherever I want to. Seriously. Okay, well, we are definitely 100% sorted for the money situation. Okay, this is even better. Wait, if I send it over here, does the banana farmer actually collect it? It does. Look at that. <laughs> that is amazing. Well, we need to find something that's really good against the balloons because, of course, we'll be able to absolutely tear apart this first boss balloon. However, we are really going to struggle against the balloons inside it. So, let's look at the ninja. Let's see if we get anything good. Okay, this is absolutely terrible. It's literally shooting out a single dart. So, we definitely don't want that. Let's go for the cow chops because this might... Wow, another Sentry Ninja, but this is even better. These, okay, this is the Paragon Sentry. That's like a fifth tier Sentry, right? That is amazing. Well, I decided to put a village down so we can hit all of the balloon types, especially camo balloons. Camo balloons can be seriously annoying because even though the tower can actually detect them, sometimes the projectile can't hit the camo balloons, which is really a problem. But we shouldn't have any problems because we do have this village. And of course, I am making a bit more money. $300 per crate is absolutely insane. Like, I put this down a few rounds ago. It's already made me over $100,000 right here. And we do have the first boss balloon appearing in at six rounds right here. So it is really close. Well, we are only a round away from the boss balloon. I'm kind of scared. Also, this dart monkey does not seem to be bad at all. In fact, I think it's got the sword ability from Sorda. Because as you can see, it is doing way more damage than a 0-0 dart monkey should do. But yeah, we're one round away. Let's speed this up. Actually, wait. Let's see if we can get any good upgrades on this dart monkey quickly. Let's go for the quick shots. There we go. Okay, this is kind of cool. This is an ice ball dart monkey. Not bad. Let's go for the triple shot. Okay, no, this is really cool. I mean, that's even more icy. Like, look how much damage that's doing to the balloons and this is just a triple dart monkey okay so this is our balloon popping power sorted but we're really are we going to struggle against this because as you can see the elite balloon areas tier one has 50,000 hp right here which is a lot of hp and i mean we are doing pretty good damage already and in fact we haven't even tugged okay those balloons are getting really far on my side right there look how far they're spawning okay luckily the paragon sentries are really good right there they're cleaning up everything no that's really scary look at that but we are doing so much damage to this right here yeah, I'm pretty sure it's because of the druids. If I set this to strong right here, just look at the damage go up. That literally did 3,000 in one hit right there. And we popped tier one just like that, guys. I don't know if we're going to be able to beat tier five, but so far it is going really, really well. And we have so much balloon popping power right there. 
So we're going to go for the Grandmaster Ninja, and we're actually going to go for the Distraction and the Counter Espionage, which is not normally something I go for. But trust me, guys, this Ninja is going to surprise you. And of course, we do have the same defense as last time, but honestly, I don't think we need any more just for the Tier 2. It does have 300,000 health, which is a lot. But yeah, as you can see, look at this Ninja right here. It is an Adora Ninja, and it is absolutely shredding through everything right there. Oh, no, actually, that is kind of an issue, because look how many BFBs there are right there. Okay, no, that is actually really bad. There are way more balloons there than I thought. And every single time it hits a skull, is it is going to release even more. So, I might... Oh no, I can't go for another balloon. Oh no! Okay, wait, I need to find something good and fast. Okay, maybe let's go for the tag shooter or something. Oh no, this is actually kind of scary because we need a better defense than this. Let's go for the overdrive. Oh my god, that's the super mines! That is the super mines! Okay, I don't know if we can keep that. That's going to lag out everything so much because that is an absolutely absurd amount of super mines right there. But, <laughs> that is definitely the extra defense we needed. Well, I think we need to look more at the tag shooter because it literally spawned at super mines for me. And as you can see, we have successfully beaten tier two of the balloon Aris. However, that was a lot more difficult than I thought it'd be. I mean, yes, I do have really good popping power, but I have to get something that's better at popping balloons. And I don't want to get this because this is just going to cause so much lag. I don't think we're going to survive the next tier of the boss balloon with the defense we have now. Because as you saw last time, we have really good balloon Aris popping power with so many Ab missiles out of these druids. However, our balloon popping power is absolutely terrible. So I was thinking, we haven't really explored the Dartling Gun at all. And of course, it is one of the most fast firing towers I have. And also, I can aim it wherever on the map I want. So I was thinking we should probably get some upgrades on this because I was kind of distracted by how much money it was making me. So let's see if we can find any good upgrades with the Dartling Gun that will actually do good damage to the like the regular balloons because I don't think we're going to survive without it. And okay, okay, that is absolutely perfect. That was just what I was talking about. Okay, that is absolutely insane. And not only is it the Super Mines, we can aim this wherever I want to on the track. So if the balloons were getting here, for example, from the Balloon Aris, I can just put this right here and we can explode every single one of the balloons coming out of the Balloon Aris. And just look at this. I can explode every... <laughs> this is so OP. Okay, we may actually be able to beat the Tier 5. I don't know if this Super Mines Dartling Gun can actually take out 40 million health. But, like, this thing seems unstoppable, right? I mean, hopefully it does not stop my laptop because that is so many mines that are going to explode at the end of this round. We should also see if there's something good with the Super Monkey because, of course, the Super Monkey... Well, it's it's a Super Monkey. It shoots extremely fast. This isn't actually bad at all. This is shooting Adora as well. I mean, it isn't the best popping power ever, but it is, I believe, better than the Super Monkey would be if it was just a regular Super Monkey. Also, wait, I need to remember which Dartling Gun it was. I think it was I think it was the top, uh, the top path. Yeah, it was the Laser Shot. Okay, so we've only got two rounds to go until the Tier 3. I don't know how much health it will have. I'm pretty sure it's going to be over a million because, of course, it is the Elite Blue Narius. It should be a lot stronger. Also, if you guys are enjoying this video, make sure to drop a like. Let's try and hit three likes on this video if you want me to do more randomizer mods. And of course, if you haven't subscribed already, definitely subscribe if you want to because I'm going to be doing content like this nearly every single day. Well, I don't know if this is doing much damage, but it is looking pretty cool. We got a bomb shooter super monkey right here, but yeah, it isn't doing as much damage as I would have hoped for. This is absolutely terrible. Look at this. We're barely going up and this is a 0-2-2 super monkey. Okay, let's go for the Dark Knight. That is I don't know. Is that Quincy's arrows? I mean, it's not doing very much damage, so let's go for the Dark Champion. And luckily, we do actually have enough money. Wait, what is this? What is this projectile? Okay, this is really interesting, actually. This is like a boomerang projectile, but I don't recognize... Is that from the new Paragons, maybe? I don't know. It doesn't look more like powerful enough to be a Paragon thing. But this is definitely good. It looks like it's like some sort of glaive ricochet that is doing absolutely insane damage to stuff. Like, look at this. That's not bad at all. And it will bounce from everything as well. Yeah, I don't know. I mean, I'm definitely going to keep this. Okay, wait. This is the tier three. This is the moment of truth. How much have two million? Two million. Well, this is going to lag out my computer, so hopefully it doesn't crash it. But let's go for the laser shock and let's start super mining this tier three balloon areas. And wow, it isn't actually doing as much damage as I thought it would. But we don't really care about the damage it's doing because we obviously have the druids to do the real bits of damage. Uh, we just care about this so we can actually explode all the balloons that are coming out. Because as you can see, there are a lot of cer ceramics right there. We really do not want to die to them at all. 
Oh no, it is shooting up Babaloons and DDTs. Oh no, wait, wait, wait. We need to get one of these in range of the... Oh wait, are we okay against this? I don't know. I'm just going to sell this and I'm going to get another one in range of the village just in case we don't have that counter detection. I'm sure it can detect camo, but just in case we're going to get that. But I mean, we're doing really good damage to this because remember, this has 2 million health right here and we are absolutely destroying it with these drills. Okay, did you see how many explosions are right there? That is what could crash my laptop, but it's looking like it isn't going to crash it. We're doing insane damage. I think we're going to be able to take out tier three, no trouble, but of course, 40 million is a big step up from just 2 million. So I don't know if we're going to beat the tier five. I think I'm going to get a few more of these druids set to strong because, of course, they do insane damage. I think it was that upgrade. Yeah, it was the hard thorns. Hopefully, we are going to actually... Yeah, we are taking this out easily. And this super mines, I don't even think I need this super mines. I just have it in the back just in case the balloons sneak through. As you can see, it does spawn quite a lot of bads and even DDTs as well, I believe. And yeah, you can see on the skull, there are some DDTs. There are some bad balloons. We are going to be okay against all of this. And dude, these druids, these are literally tier one towers. And this one has... 33,000 bolts, 37,000 bolts. They are going up insanely fast. And very soon, we will have beat the tier three balloon areas. And just like that, we have beaten the tier three. There we go. I do think we need to find better towers. Also, I'm going to sell this because this, I don't want all of these exploding all at the same time. That's definitely not going to be good. Where I was looking for good upgrades and uh, I present to you the worst MAD in the entire world. It is just shooting out a single shuriken. Yeah, I think I'm going to do some more looking. I'm thinking we might actually find a good upgrade with the tag shooter because, of course, it shoots out projectiles in lots of different directions. And yes, it does have a really short range, but the projectiles can actually shoot really far because, of course, they are random. So like this one, for example, it's not doing that much damage, but these are infinite projectiles, basically, for this range. So I think we may actually find something really good for the tag shooter. So let's see if we can find anything. Let's go. Wait, that is doing so much damage. What is this doing? Oh my god, what is this doing? I mean, look, it's on 9,200. I had no... What is this shooting out right here? I can't even see what it's shooting, but apparently it's doing really good damage. I think it's laserifying everything as well. Maybe it's something to do with the Darkling Gun, but I'm really not sure because I, I can't see any projectile. But it is doing good damage, so I, I don't know what it is. But let's carry on looking through these upgrades. Okay, that is absolutely useless right there. Let's go for the more tax upgrade because, of course... Oh, actually, that might, that might be a lot better, actually, because now we can slow down. I don't know if it slows down the balloon but we can slow down all of the other mods, so that's pretty good. So I just bought the hot shots, expecting something like fire, maybe. But no, this hot shots tag shooter is shooting ice. That makes absolutely zero sense. But I guess it is random projectiles. And actually, this isn't doing bad damage at all. Like, this is a hot shots ice shooter. And it's doing really well. I think it's because it's ice shards. I mean, it's doing good damage. But I still haven't found something super powerful. So I'm going to keep on looking. Well, I just found a sub that does absolutely insane amounts of damage. I think it's shooting cluster bombs. It's kind of hard to see. But I mean, I think the ballistic missile is regular. And then look at this. It shoots cluster bombs. Wait, no. Oh, no. It's already around 100. And that has 8 million health. Okay, well, I mean, it is the tier 4. And we do know that the tier 5 has 40 million. But that is ridiculous amounts of health. Okay, four, wait, 8 million? How are we going to take out 8 million? I mean, we could spam an absolute ton of these druids. But I'm also kind of worried about all the balloons inside it. Because we do have a really good a defense back here. But I don't know if it's going to be able to be enough. Because this is insane. It has so much HP. It has so many skull damage faces. And look how far it shoots the balloons all the way down here and we are around 100 as well so this is kind of scary actually okay well we're gonna keep on trying to see if we can find some good towers i think i finally found the really good tag shooter because look at the pop count on this i literally put this down a few seconds ago it's already on a hundred thousand pops but what is it doing what is this tag shooter doing also this is taking barely any damage look at that okay i think we just need to go full druid spam right here because this this is not good at all so let's just absolutely start spamming as many druids as we can set them all to strong and hopefully we're going to be able to take this out but i don't know what this tag shooter is doing like look at this it nearly has half a million pops already and that is that's ridiculous oh oh look at that i think it's actually one of the boomerangs did you see that explode yeah i can just about see it yeah i think it's shooting out the boomerang i don't know what it is exactly about the boomerang i think it's the fifth tier and because of course it's attack spray it is shooting out a ton of them 
it looks like we are going to be able to take out the tier 4 balloon Aeris. Honestly, the balloons haven't gotten that far on my side. They got to here, but this defense, I don't even know what this stuff does anymore, but it is taking it out. It looks like we are going to be able to defeat the tier 4 balloon Aeris, and honestly, I, I don't even think that's halfway through the map. And we have spammed so many more druids. Like, look at this defense. We just have druid after druid after druid. I have to make sure these all have... I mean, it's just one upgrade I need. I only need one upgrade on all of these druids to make them absolutely insane insane against the balloon Aris. and as you can see i i think we're going to be able to beat the tier five like it may be difficult to beat all the balloons inside it but i think we might make it I think the strategy is going to be the tier 5 balloon Aeris, but I guess we'll see. I mean, I literally have 30 of these druids. They're all set to strong as well. And let's see, 40. Yeah, 40 million health. Okay, whoa, those went really far right there. That is actually kind of scary. Maybe I should put some druids over here as well, just to make sure we can defend against all of them. But look at this. We're already down to 37 million, and it's only there. I set nearly all of these druids to strong as well, so they will target this balloon Aeris. And actually, for good measure, I am going to get this dotling on. Please don't crash the game let's go for the focus firing let's get the laser shock and now we have the super mines as well and this is just gonna you know take care of everything else and I think we are going to be able to beat this, but this is a lot of stuff on the screen at once. There are so many mad missiles flying around everywhere. You can see how many pops. Three million pops on a 1-0-0 druid. I bet you've never seen that before. I didn't realize it shooted out four to five bad balloons right there, but of course... Fortify bads are okay when you have an army of mad missile launching druids. And you could see we just demolished those fortified bads in literally a couple of seconds. And it's down to 23 million health. Honestly, it looks like more than 23 million because as you can see, there's so much of the bar left. Uh, but we're nearly halfway there. It's not halfway across the map. So it looks like we are going to be able to beat the tier 5. Well, it looks like we are going to be able to take it out. It is below 500,000 HP, finally. It took 14 rounds to take this Blue Narius out. But finally, with random projectiles, it looks like we are going to be able to beat the Elite Blue Narius. Let's collect our awards. And thank you so much for watching the video. I really hope you guys enjoyed. And yeah, I will see you guys in the next video. Peace.